Hello all my nerd friends out there, this is Mr. Chili here, and let's talk about some DC vs. Vampires, issue 9. James Tanini's vampire story is amazing so far. Really great, fun, loving it. Definitely this issue, we get a lot of cliffhangers. We're almost at the end of the story. I think or, yeah, there's 12 issues all together, so we're almost done, man. I think by the end of the year, it's over. But what a perfect story to do, release the issue, DC vs. Vampires. In October, it's a perfect month to talk about vampires and killing them and all that stuff. Uh, we got Green Arrow going to Smallville. I guess there's a farm of humans where they're um, basically harvesting humans and feeding them and all that stuff. So they fat them up and so he can suck their blood. You know, this is where they feed the vampires, basically process their food and all. All the queens going to face them. Uh, the Green Arrow hunting down people. He, that's where he faces Hawkman. And we got left the cliff area right there. The Hawkman versus Green Arrow. Everyone's on their mission right now. Green Arrow went to the farm, Smallville, to help the humans there. Help take down um, Hawkman as well. Um, then you got Steel, Steel, Black Manta, uh, Janan, one of the Wondo Twins, the surviving Wondo Twin, and um, uh, Supergirl, all to give Supergirl's power back. Um, that's where they're on their mission. Black, Black Mantis, yeah, Black Mantis with them too. I think I said that already. Um, Crossing the seas. Ooh, and they running some Aquaman characters over there. So they wait to uh, run into Aquaman. And we got basically... Ooh, and um, going to Gotham is Batgirl, uh, Black Canary, Hardy Quinn, and Frankenstein. Going to take out Nightwing. Everyone's on their mission. We're trying to stop this vampire apocalypse and see if they succeed and see who else dies in this massacre. So far on the mission with... Um, Green Arrow's by herself. Um, like I just talked about, he's on the farm trying to save the people, the humans, uh, freedom. Uh, I think there's some other um, superheroes there too. There might be some other heroes in there. Um, I'm guessing. So I remember in the the All Out War one with the villains are in there and all stuff. One, the DC uh, first vampires, a little uh, side comic going on. I think Bane and Deathstroke might be on that farm too. I think Bane just died in there too. That's another side story. Deathstroke. I, they're going to another Lazarus pit. They're, they're trying to find another Lazarus pit to bring back Batman. And could, they found out in that story, they found out that the Lazarus pit could cure the vampire curse. They could cure, um, cure people that had the vampire DNA. So because uh, Azero was a vampire, but he fell in the Lazarus pit and turned back to being human. So that was pretty cool. But we'll see if that story crosses over here. Yeah, I think this is DC uh, versus uh, Vampires All Out War. I believe that's what's called. So quote me on that. But anyways, back to the story. We found out that Black Mantis this whole time was Queen Mera. When Aquaman showed himself and challenging the heroes of the like uh, Steel. Um, bring them down. That was a cool fight between them. I wish we saw more of that fight. Um, and he kills when... Aquaman rolls out of the sea, kills Jane and one of the window twins. And that sucks. I kind of don't want people more, more, no more people to die, but to, that's what makes the story so interesting, so cool. And we, like I said, everything left on the cliffhanger. We did see Queen Mary came back from the ocean. We thought she died, but she came back and challenged Aquaman again. Supergirl fell in the ocean. She's drowning, so who's going to save her? Uh, maybe Aqualad will pop up. I think Aqualad didn't turn to a vampire yet. So we got that. Um... In Gotham City, uh, they're basically lost. They don't know how Harry Quinn doesn't know how to get into the tower to go kill Nightwing, and they're being careful because we got freaking Power Girl and Wonder Girl, I believe, watching the tower uh, up above. But in the end of the story, the cliffhanger now they found someone that might go see Nightwing. Uh, some reason Nightwing doesn't want to kill him because I guess that's his last brother. And like I said, there's a little Nightwing. I believe a little Nightwing still in the little Dick Grace in a Vampire King. Nightwing. Um, that's the reason he left Damien. He sees Damien as his little brother. That's his dearest brother. They're really close, Damien and Nightwing. So that's why he probably kept him alive and able to not get full control. Maybe he wants to get killed. I have a feeling that's what's going to end right here. Like, he's not going um, full hardcore on Batgirl. Uh, like, I'm surprised she survived all this long while getting hunted down by her. Because they have a strong passion. And Damien was able to gain full control become like a blade character in the story um he, he got his humanity still but he's still a vampire and i wonder that's dick grayson trying you know these two characters batgirl and 
Damien are the two characters that probably could take down Nightwing and end him. And that's what probably he wants. He wants to be killed. Uh, he wants to get taken down. And them two, the two people he cares most, probably could um, uh, take him down and finish him and put him out of his misery. That's what I think is going to happen. I think Batgirl will succeed and kill him. Someone that he that he loved, Fury, that doesn't want to be trapped as being a monster. So hopefully that works out. Um, but yeah, the story's getting really good. I love the fight on the ocean. I think Supergirl will get her power. Um, the other the, uh, the other story too, the All Out War is pretty cool. They they might succeed in help. They're trying to get Wizard, um, uh, Weather Wizard as well. I guess that's the one that's blocking the sun. He's the one that's blocking the sun, making it all black and dark with all the clouds and darkness. So if somehow Deathstroke and his team could bring Weather Wizard. Um, put him in the last pit, cure him, make him change the weather again, um, and the sun will come out. That's the vampire's weakness. So we're getting close to the ending soon. I'm seeing the ending little by little, but it's getting really cool. It sucks Jaden's dead. Uh, Supergirl, Power Girl, Power. We'll see who else dies. It's cool as Creek Mara's Black Manta. I really like that outfit. I kind of hope a freaking um, uh, McFarlane makes a cool figure of that. I would love Queen Mara's Black Manta figure. That'd be dope as shit. Cause she looks pretty sick with short hair, scars everywhere. Can imagine the heart she saw. It was, she's pretty cool in here. I like that. Um, Damien's gonna help Batgirl kill Nightwing now, so that's cool. Um, like I said, we're getting to the climax soon, man. We're getting to the we've got three different stories, three main characters going at it. We'll see how who wins the vampires or DC, mostly DC, but uh, it's a fun story. Jane Tenney's making a fun story. I thought DC first vampires would be cheesy, but it's been very really fun. Just relax, sit back, read. Uh, a crazy fun story made by a good writer. Jane Tenney to bury some good stuff. But give me your thoughts below. What do you think about DC vs. Vampires issue 9? Did you like it? Do you don't like it? Are you liking the story so far? It's been a while. I think I don't remember last year, month in September reading one. Maybe I'm wrong. Could be. It just, I wish it was weekly, you know, in a way. Um, but a, a monthly gives good materials a good too. But thank you all for checking out my videos. Please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and get to get all my comic book reviews. But thank you all for watching again. I hope you all have a good day and good night. And remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.